we live? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Are we? This was always going to be a ball ache, so you're going to have to bear with me for a quick second. Okay, I think now we're technically live. If you're going to keep catching me down here, it's because my laptop is here, my phone is also here, which I'm kind of using as like a, um, as the place where I'm going to be reading the comments, interacting with you guys in the live chat, and then seeing what's up. So there is a tiny delay, apparently. Um, so if there's any mistakes or you're hearing anything, then please let me know right away. So then I can read through. In fact, um, yes, we are. Yo, what's up? He's had, la, 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 la. How is everybody doing today? My man Kelly's in here. Um, we're just going to wait a few a few minutes, as influencers love to say whenever they do any live projects, basically. But, uh, yeah, man, how's everybody doing? You're good? This is my first ever live stream. Not the platform to do it. Well, not that there's anything wrong with doing it on YouTube, but I know that people tend to gravitate more so towards Twitch. Um, and, oh. Ooh, 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 what's it saying? Mm. Wow, okay. Am I lagging by any chance for you guys? Um, is the video quality dead? How do we feel about... I just dropped the video quality a tiny bit. Hopefully that should ease it up and have less of a delay. Uh, video quality is calm. I've got man like Pratsuris, aka my brother downstairs, just checking everything, making sure the YouTube, uh, yeah, whatever. Always wanted to ask you, is that a six paths tat on your chest, for slash neck? Yes, this is inspired by, um, Naruto, such a weeb, <laughs> but yeah, man, I fucking love this tattoo. It's one of my favorite, and yes, it is inspired by the six paths from the manga forward slash anime. Cheese! Some people are already dropping some money, yeah. Okay, we love to see it. Uh, quality is great, no lag, no lag, but you're four eighty p. No, you're good. The Mac is on heavy breathing though. Damn. Well, unfortunately, uh, with regards to the quality itself, uh, 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 I can't do much about it just because, like I said, this is a stream on YouTube and what a lot of um, other creators tend to do is Twitch. Sorry, is stream on Twitch, um, which I think allows for a lot more of a higher quality which is then export to YouTube and then you can kind of look at it. Uh, someone had also asked if I am going to be uploading the video after this. Yes, I will be uploading the video. This will stay on the channel. And to kind of, to kind of give you guys a brief little rundown, it feels weird speaking to the camera, even though you're watching live. Um, it shouldn't be any different to how I'm normally recording the video, but if I'm normally recording the video, I, don't, I know that I don't have an audience. Whereas this, this feels a tiny bit more different so what was i going with my train of thoughts oh yeah what i'm doing today we've got a live shopping then we're gonna have an unboxing a bit of a chit chat i kind of want to prepare a video basically if you guys have seen on my instagram which by the way you can follow me at sanjeev s-a-n-g-i-e-v information to it hey eh? check out this little card that i've got here uh, information to it can be found in the corner right here but as i told you guys there's a couple of videos that i've got lined up for february one of them being ways to style i don't know how to I'm, how, blah, blah, blah. i don't know how i'm going to title it yet but it's going to be something along the lines of ways to style puffer jackets which seems to be 
a bit of a trendy item at the moment. Um, I kind of want to hit it at various price points, which is something that I am very much aware that, you know, I sometimes don't do because a lot of the pieces that I'm showcasing aren't always the most affordable and I'm fully aware of that. So we're going to try and find today, hopefully anyway, at least with your help, um, some pieces that would hit various price points with the wonderful people over at Farfetch. So I'm going to be shopping on Farfetch. Um, in fact, they have provided a discount code for us, which can be found in this corner, I believe. I don't really know where I'm pointing at, so I'm just hoping it's pointing in the right section. But that will entitle you to 11% as opposed to the usual 10%. Now I know that it's only 1% extra, but every little helps. And so you have 24 hours. Well, the T's and C's can be found in the description box because there are some brands that are excluded from the offer, unfortunately. But yeah, man, it's all in this corner for an 11% off discount code that you may be able to use. It's now been five minutes. I think we're good to go, you know? I'm I'm gonna try and find a way to kind of read through the comments. Bro, Ayo, how'd you do this, man? You're the king of like live streams. I should have picked your brain before starting. But yeah, man, shout out to the boy Ayo, AKA the Fashion Archive. In my opinion, when it comes to, f uh, when it comes to YouTube fashion, anyway, fashion YouTube, the king of live streams. This man has the stamina and the endurance. I think his longest live stream was like nine hours, which is absolutely insane. And I spoke to him earlier on today and I was like, bro, there's no way I'm doing a nine hour live stream. Like no way. Um, however, if it is something you wish to see, Bro, imagine speaking about fashion for nine hours. I don't even know. This is what I mean. Hats off to the guy. The king. The king, the king, the king. Didn't you do a How to Style Puffers with Magnus? Yes, many moons ago. The fact that it even has the word Magnus in the title goes to show that it was many moons ago. I think it was like three, maybe even four years. Three, maybe even four years ago. So since then, obviously, our style has changed and hopefully we'll be able to do a new take on it. Um, comment ça va la santé? Tout va bien? Merci, mon gars. Everything is going really well. Oh, he was just asking how I'm doing. Everything is going well. Um, still, still moon facing around here, but there is a tiny, tiny progress. Uh, it's very slow, but it's happening slowly, but slowly, but surely. And yes. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Where's that hoodie from? I love that color. Yes, thank you for asking. This is going to be part of the second drop that is being announced next week. I don't have the final dates yet, but it's coming this month. Fingers crossed. If everything goes according to plan, it's coming this month. That is the hoodie from the second drop. Got a nice little greetings from Sanjeev there. Boom. Um, really nice. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be biased. I don't want to talk about it just now, just because this isn't the point of this video, and I will have an entirely dedicated video for it. So, Fashion YouTube got me fitted. We love to hear it. Would you ever wear a crop top skirt dress? Crop tops, I think I do, depending on how cropped. Like, right now, ain't nobody trying to see my belly, to be honest with you. So, that's a big skip on that. Skirts and dresses, it's weird because I've always, personally, that's where I've always kind of drawn the line. But then again, there's so many things that I said I would never wear that I'm now wearing. So who knows, man? Who knows where fashion will take us in the in the next um, two to three years? Bro, we need that podcast with H. He's hilarious. Do it with a trio with your brothers too. With your brother too would 100% watch. Bro, I'll be so down. Like a podcast, it's so weird. I've been talking for such thinking about it with h as well for so many years um and you know when when it, when it was first brought up to our attention we were just like ah eh, it's too late by the way this was at a time when joe rogan obviously was a big big podcast guy and adam 22 or whatever his name is those were the only two podcasts out and already i was thinking to myself yeah it's way too late to jump on the podcast since then a thousands of podcasts have started and we could have definitely jumped on but again this just goes to show stop looking around stop giving yourself dead excuses and just jump with it jump on it 
Um, da, 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 da. I need the first sweatshirt. Unfortunately, there is no restocks. But I don't know if I want to say this now. I'm going to just say stick around in this live. Because some shit might go down. Not that it's a big deal, but your face is definitely getting better for sure. Oh, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Love, love, love your style. I'm so glad you're positive. Thank you so much. That, uh, that means a lot, and I really appreciate it. Um, is your steroid, steroid therapy complete, or are you still on a daily dose? No, it's complete. So my last injection was on the 9th of November, which... What's the date today? It's the 7th. So it's nearly... December, January, February, nearly three months now. In two days, it'll be three months. Yeah, yeah. I mean, apparently this takes anywhere between two to 12 months recovery. I'm just hoping that it's a lot less than that. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm not cussing this, the, um, the syndrome, the, the condition. I just don't like it. So leave my body, please. <laughs> Can we get a student discount for future drops? Bro, if I was a massive corporation or a massive company, I would love to. Um, I'd like to think we're being very fair. In fact, one of the main feedbacks that we've got from people that have purchased the pieces was how fair the prices were. And I know that the prices aren't the most affordable, but when you have the pieces in hand and you're able to feel the quality and, and, and kind of go through all the design process and everything that's gone into it, I think... Well, I'd like to think anyway that we're trying to keep it as fair as possible. So for the time being, there's no, there's not going to be any student discounts. But, you know, if your boy is stacking big, big bread and the brand grows to an insane amount, then uh, perhaps we'll be able to offer that. Maybe as a recommendation, duh, 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 duh. maybe have some music playing in the background. Um, and also, did you gain muscles from the steroids? I mean, you ain't natty anymore. Unfortunately, no muscles from the steroids. It's not one of the. <clears throat> it's not one of those steroids, which helps you make some gains, which I would have loved. Not the case. And recommendation for the stream: maybe have some music playing in the background. I would, but apparently, if you play music in the background, you'll get demonetized. And then that's going to affect the viewability of the video. So supposedly, Ayo, if you're still in the stream, please correct me if I'm wrong. But supposedly when you're playing music in the background, if it gets picked up by YouTube and it's blocked in certain countries, said countries may be able to watch the live stream, which sucks. Now, I could put some lo-fi type beat in the background, but I want to make sure that you guys are hearing me and not being able to hear myself right now. I don't even know how the, how well the audio is being picked up and all that other jazz. So, unfortunately, we're going to keep it raw. I don't know why I just did that. We're going to keep it as it is. And, um, and yeah. Boom. Okay. Yeah, sometimes YouTube may even shut down the live stream. See? The Fashion Archive with the knowledge. Speaking of the knowledge one of the most insightful YouTubers that I absolutely love because he always presents his content in such a way that it's not... My issue with a lot of... And I'm not even talking in the menswear scene. With a lot of the fashion YouTube, especially when it comes to the educational side, is that it can be just regurgitated info that's just been grasped or gathered from books. And then it just sounds pompous. And for the most time, I'm just like... What are you talking? It feels as though you're not even understanding what you're saying. However, what the likes of Fashion Archive, Bliss Foster, amongst many others, but unfortunately, those are the only two that I watch. They present their information in their own way. You know, they really take in what they're reading and then they put their own spin on it, make it a lot more accessible. So Fashion Archive, definitely, definitely check out his videos. Um, uh, I, I'm a big fan of what he does. He's been giving it on the channel for a while now because he seems to think, well, right now anyway, he would absolutely smoke me in a race, but he seems to think that he could beat me in a 100 meter race, <laughs> which yes, I'm gonna bring it up right now. The Fashion Archive seems to think that he can smoke me in a 100 meter race. You're dumb. 
right now you could definitely do it by the way i am physically so weak it's a joke like a joke but uh bop, 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 bop. oh and within the same breath of that yes someone said kelly Kayo, kelly kayo for us german folks yes kelly unfortunately i don't understand german or very little of it and um so yeah he's been oh, a series all is trying to get involved and so yeah what was the game with that point yeah apparently kelly is the equivalent of that for german youtube so definitely check him out in fact i think the magazine might be sold out but Definitely check out his magazine as well. Big support. Okay. Oh, Sam, you're so sweet with smoking 100 meter though. Bro, this guy, way too gassed. Way too gassed. Ah, someone's trying to spoil Attack of the Titans and I haven't even started yet. Allow it, please, fam. Okay. I mean, we've been here for 15 minutes having a nice little chit chat. How do we feel about starting, starting shopping? Yeah, wait, let me just make sure that we're on the right. Boom. Boom, boom, look at that. Your boy is set up. Like this, this, this looks so professional, doesn't it? First of all, it doesn't, it doesn't look very professional. First of all, I've got a gamer border on at the moment which doesn't really stick with the theme of of a fashion of a fashion live stream i feel like i should be on twitch or on another platform showing you some gaming footage okay i'm going through i'm going through yeah not bad this looks good all right so discount code still here you've got 25 hours to use it You've got my social media information in the corner right there. And in the meantime, let's start shopping. Like I said, I'm gonna keep an eye out on all the comments because it is going live onto my phone. Sick setup, not gonna lie. Thank you, fam. Thank you. First live stream. And we're not doing too bad. I thought this would go absolutely horrible. Just remove the border footy. Why are you, why, why are you hating, fam? Why are you hating? Man's a gamer. I'm just gaming on Farfetch. This is our game. This is my version of Fortnite. Put some music, set the atmosphere, Sanj. I'm sorry. Like I said, well, okay, let me try this. Uh, How would this work? How can I set some lo-fi music? Wait, wait, wait. Boom, so you should be back on my face. Yes, you are. Okay, fantastic. We love to see it. Then. I'm still getting used to all the hotkeys and all that stuff. I'm trying to make this as seamless and as professional as possible, but obviously you're going to catch me slipping sometime. Um, Ayo, am I doing the wrong thing here by playing some lo-fi hip-hop music? Will this get me demonetized? How's the audio? How's the audio? Is this... Is this chilled? Can you still hear me clearly? That's, that's the main issue for me. Alright, you boys are going to have to tell me. Yeah? Nah? Can you still hear me clearly? That's the only thing that I want to know. All right, Rashawn Richardson, your boy, Unsound Rags, representative in the live stream. Rashawn, you should probably send me, um, you should probably send me a mix and then I'll just play that in the background. That would be such a banging idea. You've got my number or you've got my IG DMs, text me and I'm gonna do that. Can't hear the music. Audio working by the way. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we're good. Audio's good. Maybe a bit louder on the music. Your vocals are clear. Okay, we love to hear it. Let's keep it moving then. Boom. Uh. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so 
We're on Farfetch, one of my favourite online retailers. I've spoken about them on my channel so much. They've been an amazing sponsor of the, of the channel and of, of many videos. And I am ever so thankful for them. And so today, like I've said, they've very kindly allowed me to shop on the platform, get some pieces for another video that I'm going to be doing, which is going to be waist to style puffer jackets. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Obviously, I have some idea of what I'm going to be including. In fact, there is a piece that I already have today that I know I'll be including in said video, but I want to kind of shop with you guys, get your take on it. Sorry, I'm burping. And hopefully we'll go through with it. So when you think of puffer jackets, who do you think? And let me know now. So then, so then I can see, all right, so someone said a leaks puffer jacket. Let's go into designers A to Z. Also, you're gonna catch me with my head down a lot because the laptop is right here. I do apologize. I know it doesn't make for, you know, a very connecting atmosphere, but hopefully me talking about the pieces as I'm browsing through. Uh, oh shit, Elix always starts with the numbers, doesn't it? There we go. Bom, 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 bada, bom, bada, bom. Ricky, obviously, everyone's going to be talking about the Rick Puffer. Now, to be honest with you, the Rick Owens, because I already have it, and in my opinion, I have the best version of it. It's not something that I'm going to be looking into because the Rick and Montclair collaboration, it's pretty much a new take on the Puffer jacket that I have, which I believe, believe, believe is from... What season was it from? 2018 or maybe 2019? So, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so what do we have? Leaks. Wait, clothing. Also, the website is normally insanely smooth. If there is any lag, it's because we are live streaming. So, just bear that in mind. Um, this should be in the jacket section. Okay, we've got one hooded patch, hooded padded jacket. We've got a gilet. Good point. Gilets is something that I really wanted to get, especially one, at least for the video, because I don't want it to be just, just padded jackets, or full sleeve ones at least. Load up, load up, load up, load up, load up. You're gonna load? Vibing with this music's a bit loud, so let me just turn that down a touch. All right, so. It's another one, yeah. Now, the reason why I'm personally not feeling this, it low key, and I know I, I probably shouldn't badmouth, you know, products, but I don't like I don't like the look of it. Basically, it just looks like you're wearing a bin bag. Like if it was more of a matte finish, I'm so down for it, but because it's got that shiny look to it, that's a skip for me. 1.4k to kind of look like you're wearing something. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good on that front. This, however, this gilet is not too shabby at all. At 726 pounds, it's a lot more affordable and it's got that matte finish that I'm talking about now. I'm not the biggest fan of the hood and it looks as though it might be removable. Is it? Black quilted padded design, funnel neck, classic hood. Mm, it might not be removable. We're gonna put that to the side anyway, and then Oh Wait, all the people saying Rick does a six at the moment Yeah, so we're gonna put this on the back burner There is a piece that I want to show you guys and get your take on it In fact, there is a whole designer that has been killing the puffer game Starts with an M. So if you were to take a guess, who do you think it is? I'm gonna read this. Camera placement is... Wait one sec, yeah. Camera placement is over the brand piece name right now. Oh shit, okay. I should probably bear with me for one second. Boom, just face. Whoo! Clean. 
but how do we oh no we can't oh shit ah, no, no, I don't mind it hold up okay there we go wait let me just yep okay cool um Montclair no not Montclair Maison Martin Rose to be fair it was Maison Margiela they've got some amazing or they had some amazing pieces i just want to see if they're still available because i believe some of them were new seasons some of them were older seasons so i'm just trying to find out and make sure that it's the right one so once again we go into clothing we go into it could either be a jacket or a coat so i don't know oh okay there we go bro check this out the four stitch striped puffer jacket, hard, 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 hard. This is one of my favorites. Okay, this was the main piece that I came for. And you've got it in black as well. Okay, so what do we have? We've got the four stitch striped puffer jacket. Now, this looks absolutely insane. 2.1K V18 included. It's a bit of a steep one, but it looks so good, man. I just love the cut of it. Single breasted, two buttons in the middle. And they have my size, which I would go for a 48 in this particular piece. Then another, so we're gonna put this to the side for sure. This padded nylon bomber jacket 40 percent off so okay we like to hear that has he got my size though of course my size is at a different price point fantastic yes um to be honest with you as sick as the piece is i can definitely i prefer the other one personally um now this this is fire. Oh, there's only two pictures. Okay, three pictures. I just love this padded shell gilet. Like, it's so good. This gilet is so good. And they've got it in two colours. Wow. Oh, of course. The 48 is a different price point. <laughs> I hate when this happens. So, the reason why this happens, by the way, it's not Farfetch bugging or anything. Farfetch is a middleman if you want to call it that it's a platform that basically connects you to various retailers across the world and so due to those reasons you may have a especially depending on where you're based sorry i should say that you may have a retailer in the uk that has the piece for a much better price than say if the piece is available from a retailer in japan because you're obviously going to be paying for some import fees especially with the state of what's going on right now in the uk brexit and everything else you know, even if it's from a store in Europe, we're having to pay a tiny bit more now, which sucks, but it's nothing that Farfetch can do about. Um, it's a government thing. So anyway, don't want to get political in here. Political? Political? <laughs> political in here. Um, where's I going with that point? So yeah, those, those are the reasons why sometimes you'll come across a piece, same piece, just different price points across various sizes. Sometimes it's a different price point across the same size if you don't catch it in time. Like there's been plenty of times when I've wanted something, I've put it in my wish list in a size 48 or a size medium, for example, and then the following day, the price has been either hiked up or it's actually gone down. And the reason being is the retailer that I added it from had sold out of the piece and another retailer has now come in. Does that make sense? I hope it does. White looks fuego. I agree. I so agree. White looks fire. Buys 2K jacket, complains about 30 quid import tax. Boy, you are smoking some good good if you think that you're buying a 2K jacket and you're only getting 30 quid import tax. Because them taxes, especially the import duties, be hitting different. It's not 30 quid. We're talking, especially on a 2K jacket, we're talking a couple of hundreds normally. Um, and the UK are notorious, notorious 
for charging things left, right, center without really having a set price guide. It really depends on whoever's doing or whoever's checking the items and they can quite literally set the price to whatever they want, which is outrageous. Like there's been times when I've purchased something, not necessarily from Farfetch, just this is just in general. I've purchased something for, I should say 50 quid and I'm having to pay a fee of like 30 pounds. And then sometimes I buy something for 60 quid or 70 quid and I'm only having to pay a 20, 20 quid fee. Do you know what I mean? So it really, really depends on who you're getting. And I think a lot of people's frustration comes from the fact that there isn't like a set guideline. So it's so all over the place and that's super annoying. Um. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? How do you not go broke buying so many high-end pieces? Who said I am not broke? Your boy is... We, it's looking a bit brass right now, to be fair. I'm very blessed to, you know, have the opportunity to work with a lot of brands. Farfetch today, for example, have allowed me a certain budget allowance for me to shop. Which, you know, I disclose these information to you guys a lot of the times. Whenever I work with a brand, there's often some sort of a of a deal going on so that it's either being gifted i'm being i'm choosing the pieces you know all that jazz and also i do a lot of selling stuff myself so i try to stick to the one in one out rule i'm gonna put my hands up and say you know i've i've had better times with it uh, recently i've just gone completely overboard so i'm trying to reel it back and you will see on thursday's video which i have already filmed i'm gassed it's going to be a winter sales pickups and you'll see in that video that I talk about the whole system and, and how to kind of go about it in a way to be, <clears throat> to be, to go about it in a way so that you can be smart with your shopping. Boom skis. Could you drop the window, camera window to the bottom right so we can see the entire screen? Oh, damn, you're right, actually. A lot of the pieces, Farfetch displays it in such a way that, okay, bear with me. Boom face only we love to see it actually there's no point in me doing that because i need to change it again let me move that over here lock that in ah lovely is that better that should be better Yeah, it should be better, I think. You should check out the new Bottega Gilet, the green one. It's so hard, and the new wide leg pants are freaking fire as well. They almost look like a balloon from knee to ankle. You'll love the silhouette. Um, okay, so I'm going to put these Margiela padded shell gilets to the side. And this one. This one can go, because I prefer the other two. And then someone said, just check out Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta have been killing it, man. Some of their pieces are so beautiful. In fact, this guy might be referring to the piece that I'm thinking of adding to my, um, that I've already got in my wish list, but I just want to double check anyway. They might have added something new. In fact, I didn't even check Farfetch's um, new in section, which I tend to do on a daily basis, just to see what, what else has been updated to the website. Oh, bottom right, yeah? All right, cool. Damn, okay. You lot are going in with the bottom right. Bottom right it is. Bear with me for two seconds. Um, There you go. So then it doesn't cover the socials, mate. You know what I mean? So you know where to follow me and that. Boom skis. Bottom right. Okay, oversized padded bomber jacket. First thing that pops up and it's absolutely fire oh by the way what do you guys think of all the footwear from bottega so hold up where are we gone um let's go with the jackets first how many is there what do you guys think of all the bottega veneta footwear genuine question oh this okay I'm so sorry for the inwards, but um, 
your boy is on a new damn this is fire your boy is on a diet per se and um that being a lot don't know what that means maybe it means i should be drinking more water they're overrated Bottega have been going stupid with the footwear it's so hard mine fell apart after a week god damn Um, love them, but 800 quid too steep for me. Got some tire boots, and the plastic was splitting from the leather immediately. Wow, that's awful. Hype to the reason they're sexy. I'm gonna agree with you right now. Kind of whack, but like anything, can look sick styled well. Just to kind of. Bottega footwear is great, but with how much love and virality, virality, virality it's receiving, you can't help but feel it's going to fall out the limelight and feel passe easy. I kind of agree, you know. Um, I do think, and this was an argument, well, argument, this was a conversation I was having with a friend of mine where, you know, we were talking about sneakers in particular. And sneakers have such a short longevity, a short longevity, 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 yeah. Has such a short longevity where, you know, the hype really drives a certain silhouette or a certain colorway and then drops it just as quickly. And so we were talking, in that particular instance, we were talking about the Balenciaga Triple S's, who many have a love-hate relationship with. I've got a pair that I've been trying to shift for such a long time. And, you know, I love them. Upon reflection, though, it's definitely a purchase that I made... Um while still being in the mind frame of these are these are hyped shoes to own and i am sure that in 10 years they would have moved away from the hype and by then it would be an iconic shoe because it was just such a big deal i'm not saying it was a first big dad shoe or whatever but when you think of dad shoe and when you think of the shoe that sort of really propelled the trend forward Balenciaga Triple S's will have to be mentioned. And I know that some purists are going to be like, oh, Raf Simmons did it two years ago with the with the Oswegos or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, but they were butters. Like, nobody really wanted them. People wanted the Triple S's as soon as they were released. And the fact that they even hit the mainstream, you know, and by mainstream, I mean people that aren't into fashion and they wanted to get the Triple S's, that's when I was like, oh, wow, okay, cool. This is This is crazy now. So I'm curious to see what the stance will be in about five, ten years when there is no hype on them and people will bust them out as like an archive piece being the first of its kind. Um, bom, 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 bom. So yeah, that's, that's kind of what happened. But going back to my point, which I went on a massive tangent, which I went off on a massive tangent, sorry. There are some shoes that are just beautiful and timeless, regardless of the hype. Saint Laurent, Wyatt, I love them. They're my favorite, they're one of my favorite pairs of boots, although recently I haven't worn them as much. In fact, it's been months since I've last worn them. But I still love them because despite the hype, and they had a lot of hype, there was a time when anybody that could would have had a pair. And despite all of that, it's still such a beautifully designed piece that with the hype or without the hype, it's, it's still a beautiful boot. And I feel like some of Bottega's shoes can fall into that category. It's a beautifully designed boot, but is it hype? Like the big one, I think it's called the Love Boot, might be a hype driven pair of boots. The Lean Cowboy Boots, I think they're called, or they're just called the Lean Boots. The one that Greg has, Greg and Torre, they're beautiful. And they are just extremely well designed and one that I think will stand the hype, if that make sense. Guidi is a great example. It's true. Guidi is a fantastic example. Amazing footwear. Yes, they are hyped. Now more than ever, I think. I think it's a fair statement to make. Um, thanks to the likes of Fernando Rangels over at Unsound Rags. Um, but yeah, no, that's a great example. 
Think about the association people make with your favorite brands and check out Inspo album from those. I don't know what the earlier point to that was, but. Okay. Um, start buying stuff. So the stuff that I'm buying, by the way, today, I'm just going to put them aside and then I'm going to cop them and then you're going to see them in a, in a video later on. I'm obviously not going to be entering my, my contact information on the live stream. So I'll let you know which pieces I think I'm going to be going for. But anyway, I've put some pieces aside from Bottega. Let's get your take on it and let's go back actually to show you some shoes. There is a pair of shoes from Bottega that I really, 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 really want. And they're spenny. Like spenny spenny. The padded Woo! Wait, hold up. Ugh. Oh, I'm too gassed. I saw them at 940 pounds. I was like, boom, let's go. And obviously my size, which would be a 40 Italian. They're 1.6k. <laughs> that is so expensive. But bro, they're so good. They are so good. Uh, let me g give me give me your take. Give me a take on it. I know it's a bit delayed, so you're only going to see them in a bit. But give me your take on it, and I'm going to be answering some question. Okay, someone said. I feel like you would love a Cartier Santos. Yo, I am not into watches, but the Cartier Santos ha has made its way onto my wish list on a different website. So you are very right. I think it's such a beautiful and classic looking watch. And your question as to why I'm not into watches yet, bro. There's being into clothes and, you know, spending... Well, 1.6k for a pair of loafers is a bit absurd. But watches is an entirely different ball game. And the ones that I like are, like... Crazy expensive. Ew. Meh. Couch vibes again. I think they're a bit grotesque. God damn. You know, a big... You know, getting ham with this. I love this pair of loafer, man. I think it's fire. And to be fair, when people say no, it makes me want them even more. Because I'm an idiot. So, you might see them in a pickups video very soon. I like the ones in white more. Do you like them in white? I haven't seen them. Is it for one to see? Oh my lord. Is it? I haven't seen... I haven't seen um, the game, obviously, because I've been live streaming. Let's have a look. Liverpool versus City. 4-1, that is peak. Wow, that is peak. Yes, someone said these are not timeless and I completely agree. That's why I'm finding it so hard to bite the bullet because these aren't a timeless. Like, you can tell this is definitely a trend-driven uh, purchase. Like the texture of it, the overall chunky look to it. So that's how. that's why I'm a bit on the... On the fence about it. Anyway, bro, we're not even supposed to be buying shoes today. We're buying puffer jackets. How do we feel about this bad boy? Bottega Veneta oversized padded bomber jacket in this... I don't even know what colour you would call this. Like a gone-off yellow? Green? I love the silhouette. I think it's so cool. I mean, it's styled very well here, but I kind of like it with without the collars um, protruding from, this, from the piece underneath. Nice cargoes. I know some that look better. Um, where are we going? Oof, that jacket though. I love the V pattern as well. The inverted V pattern, the triangle pattern. So beaut. So, so beaut. And how much was it? 1.7. Did they have my size? Medium. Let's put that to the side and let's make a decision later. Now this. If you're on Instagram, you guys would have seen. If it, if you paying 1.7 for shoes that you won't wear in a year or two isn't it? You know what, Armand? You're right. I I do need to think about it. I do need to think about it. Cut is fire, yo. The cut is so fire. The cut is so fire. Anyway, we're going to the sleeveless jacket. Ja jacket. <laughs> we. <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? We're getting to the sleeveless gilet um, because I wanted a gilet. And I feel like this will be a good 
Okay. I feel like this would be a good competition between the Marcia. Ah, oh, they don't have my size. Game over. Okay, they've got an extra small, small, and a large. I'm sure I could get away with a large. In fact, this looks very short, so I definitely could get away with a large. But I think I'd prefer a medium. Now, color is beaut. It kind of goes back to what we were saying. Like, is this a timeless piece? I'm not too sure. The color is beautiful. I don't like the material, man. Like, I've seen it on Instagram. It looks great. It's very striking. It's great for, like, a picture. But, um... But <laughs> is that a RuneScape armor? But, yeah, that's very, very Reen. Reen? Bro, I cannot speak today. It's very green. Yeah. I'm not too sure. Like, I've seen it on IG, and I think it looks cool. I think there's certain pieces, and this is really bad. Like, there's certain pieces where you immediately think, oh, this would be a fire pick. And then once you post that picture, you're done with it. Um, which is an awful way to look at clothes. So, and I'm guilty of doing so sometimes, but it is my job. So, you know, it is something that I think about often. It's like, hmm. Am I buying this piece for myself or am I buying this piece to showcase it to others? And I don't do it as much recently. In fact, I don't think I've bought a piece for others in the last year or two, maybe even three. No, in the last two years. But at first when I started, especially on Instagram, I was very much aware of this would be, this would make for a banging picture, you know? Very one and done. I agree. That's an expensive picture. Yo, facts. Is it great for a pick or do you love it? And for the price, you gotta love it. That webcam overlay is sending me. Yo, your boy's a gamer out here, I told you. You have already got a cray green jacket in this colorway and it's way better. Interesting, actually I sold said gray green jacket so I don't have it in this color anymore. But you're right, you're right. So for that reason, you're out. Wow, this looked a lot better when it was smaller. And by smaller, I mean like a smaller thumbnail. We've got the Bottega Veneta padded down gilet jacket in the black colorway. Nah, I'm not a fan. I don't like the button closure. I know that seems so picky. Um, but I'm really not a fan of the button closure, so. And 2K! God damn! Jesus. Winter is coming. Make sure you're prepared with this pattern down gilet from Bottega Veneta. Yo, that's a skip a rule for me. Bye. Now this. Okay, it's so dumb that I made such a big deal out of the other one being 2K and like, I was like, God damn, it's a skip. Whereas this, I'm like, oh, they don't have my <laughs> Farfetch, man, why are you doing this to me? Damn. Damn. Don't like this. Don't like that you don't have my size. It's very cropped in the body. It's a padded bomber jacket. And it's beautiful. Uh, I love the yellow. It's very bold. Bro, look at that. That's fire. That is fuego. It's quite simple. Which I think... Oh, wait, what's going on? Reconnection successful, thank you. Wait, one second, one second, one second, one second. I'm just making sure, I don't know if we're back. I think we are, but I don't want to get too gassed. Okay, I think we're back. Okay, we're back. Woo! 
<laughs> where to cop an internet plan. Uh, one does apologize for the technical difficulties that we faced, but we are back and we're better. Okay, boys, I didn't realize we've been we've been live for an hour. No wonder your boy. Okay. His brother's got the, the bandwidth flopping in Warzone. Now, my brother's just pure charts all day, every day, just looking at all these all these crypto and trade talk and all that stuff. I told him to go on 4G, so I was like, don't, um, don't. Okay, cool. The Fashion Archive says it's lit, we're back, so I'm going to trust him. I think perhaps playing the music in the background might affect things, so I might just skip on it for now, but it was a good vibe. Hmm. Hmm. Wait one sec. Uh, where is it? Yep. Okay. Boom. So, yeah, we're back on this piece. The Bottega Veneta padded bomber jacket. Now, unfortunately, they have got there. Now, unfortunately, they only have it in a size 52, which is less than ideal because I kind of need it in a size. Either 48 or 50. 52 would be, I reckon, way too big. So I'm going to put this to the side because it is a banger. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer this guy? The oversized padded bomber jacket. Which I can get in my size. Or do we prefer this guy? Which is the cropped padded bomber jacket. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section right now. Which one do you prefer? All right. Matthew Gasoltine says the mustard one's better. Mustard. That's the colour that I was looking for. Thank you for that. Mustard. Green one's so much better. Oversized yellow. Yellow. First one. Oversized. Oversized. Cropped. Green. Seems to be fairly even right now. Cropped. Cropped. One. I'm going to put them both to the side. And I'll make a decision. Because... No cap, this is going to eat up most of our budget. And I wanted at least one, you know, long sleeve puffer jacket. And I wanted one gilet. And then I... Should I show you the one that I got for the video? Or should I just save it onto the video? I'll save it onto the video. Because actually this piece was available on Farfetch. It's no longer available on Farfetch. So yeah, I should probably save it for another video. And then I've got to find a cheaper one as well. From like a high street store. Because. Yeah. That's happening. Um, do a straw poll. How'd you do that? Can you do that? Can you do a poll on here? Wait. They're both called padded. Yes. They are both called padded. But one says oversized. And the other one. It's just a padded bomber jacket. But it's definitely a lot more cropped than the other. So. Uh, Margella. Personally, I prefer the white one, so I'm going to skip on the black. Thank you. Oof, this coat, though. Mmm. The coat is fire. The coat is so fire. Okay, between these... Well, where are you going? This, this, this. I'm going to have to make a decision later. Low-key green might suit more and be easier to style. The Nanushka, that's the one that I wanted to show. Bear with me for one second. Okay, you can go because that's not happening anymore. Let's go through the new in section, actually. Because, oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna... Let me... Sh shut the... Let me... Okay, let me go through the Nanushka one first. Let me just go see if there's anything cool that's popped up in the new in section. Um, this is something I do on a daily basis. I just want to see what's up. If there's anything cool, this is a very cool colour. Amazing colour, in fact. Scroll down. Mm. Pan of fire. Mm. Nothing that really tickles my fancy today. Besides this, but we'll, we'll, it's a separate discussion for it. Okay. Stripe modular coat is mad, Fuego. Skip the coat. Now, the yellow bomber is too nice to pass up. Coat is low key harder than the Bottegas.
Okay, so this is a brand that I kind of uh, have never really given a go. It's called Nanushka. I think that's how you pronounce it. If someone has a better idea of how to pronounce it, please, please, please let me know. Um, Nanushka? Nah, it's got to be Nanushka, surely. And they do these amazing puffer jackets for a better... Yeah, there you go. Right there. The hooded bomber jacket, £645, which is still kind of steep, but it's definitely a lot more affordable than, say, the the Bottega padded jackets. And how do we feel about that? I just, I saw it on Daniel Simmons' video as well. Looks really cool. I think he got it in a green colour. I've seen various colours being uploaded on Farfetch, so maybe it's a matter of waiting until a better colour pops up. But right now, they've only seemed to have, they only seem to have the black one and... As fire as it is, I think other colours could probably do the job better. It looks top shop, not gonna lie. You think? I think it is kind of fire. Because this has the leather look, so it doesn't look as cheap. Like, you know the first um, puffer jacket that we saw, what was it? What was the first puffer jacket that we saw? Someone? leaks that looked cheap because it's it had it wasn't leather or it wasn't faux leather which i know that nanushka does um saying that though maybe i'm being a hypocrite eh, no i think it's fire i'm gonna wait though to see if other colorways are gonna pop up because i'm fairly confident other colors i've seen other colors pop up before uh, do they have it in my size? And they've got it in a size medium, so thank you very much. £645. Lovely. Anyway, so I think the three pieces that we're going to go for are going to be the Nanushka one, because that's on the cheaper end of things. Then this, this Shell Gilet is a definite cop, because I can just see it. Well, first of all, no cap. When I was in Berlin... I was, where was I? At Vu store, and I tried it on, I, bearing in mind, I tried it on a size 46, which is equivalent to a size small, and it fits amazing, it looked insane, so 48, and the reason why I passed it up then was because the sizing was a bit too small, so I was like, I need to get it in a size 48. So, yeah, the, the Margiela Gilet, 100% happening, and I think styling-wise as well, it's gonna be a fire piece, because, Okay, not going to lie, the way that it's been styled on the model, eh, not for me. But to be worn over a coat, under a coat, with a jacket or whatever it might be. Let's do it. Um, and then and then we've got... Oof. Okay, I don't want to keep it in the same brand. So I don't want to keep... I don't want to cop two pieces from Margiela. So for that reason, as beautiful as you are, my good, dear friend, I'm going to skip on you. And then I'm going to make a decision about the Bottega. Damn, the padded bomber jacket. Someone made a good point where it's just like, yeah, it's cool for content, but how often are you actually going to wear it? Whereas the khaki olive colour is definitely more wearable, at least in my opinion. It's definitely more of a daily piece as well. Yellow one, not so much. So it's something that I'm going to have to decide. But yeah, I think those three jackets, well, I've just shown you four, but... If I make a selection of three, then we are good to go. Okay, last but certainly not the least, prior to me showing you guys the unboxing portion that I have, opinions, actually, let me just kind of answer some questions. Opinions on Namasheko, Namasheko, I don't actually know how you pronounce these brands, man. It's really bad. Uh, so good, so, so good. I had a piece of knit from them. The material is exquisite. It feels insane um definitely worthy of the price tag especially considering how intricate a lot of their their knitting patterns are the gilet is too fire would fit to some good old rick you're looking slimmer Sanj. thank you don't know if that's true but i appreciate it nonetheless prada techwear is a bit dead now um i don't know about that i think some product prada had a very cool gilet but it's not a puffer piece. Anyway, I'm going off topic. 
Um, we've been streaming for an hour now, and I'm going to use this as a segue to go into the unboxing. Raf Simmons, Sterling Ruby, double breasted. Oak. Can't speak. Rav Simmons, Sterling Ruby, double breasted coat, full slash overcoat. Now, the reason why uh, I clicked on this piece in particular, even though really I just want to go to Rav Simmons and talk about how you feel about it. Obviously, obviously, um, you guys have seen my video that I did when Hyder Ackerman reissued some pieces. And people felt, you know, a certain type of way about it. Some people were like, yep, big fan, love it. Love what it means to both the community, love what it means to the designer. And then some people hated it because it, they felt as though, you know, it was taking away from, from the specialty of the piece. These pieces, for the most part, were under five years old. Some of them were as old as two years or three years old. Raf Simmons Redux, how do we feel about it? Because a lot of these pieces are from old, old seasons. A lot of them were from like five years ago. So I kind of wanted to get your take on it. So, you know, let me know what you thought. Um, there is one particular piece that I wish to show you and get your take on it. And it is the Distressed Effect V-neck Jumper. Steep, steep price tag, but oh, so beautiful. How do we feel about this, man? So, um, what did it say? The raft coat is just so sick. Styling that would be so good. Good chance for someone to get an item for retail, I presume. That's true. And that's one of the main arguments that I have with regards to brands doing, um, these reissues because obviously once a piece has been released and say five years down the line the, the the piece booms in popularity the designer ain't eating from the resale prices and some resale prices are absolutely absurd like some of you guys reselling coveted items but also some items that aren't exactly that hyped you guys need to chill out like i've seen some bomber jackets go from different brands from Hyder, for example, and I'm just like, yo, that piece isn't even that hyped. Why are you selling it? And obviously, at the end of the day, a price is only determined by who's willing to pay that much for it. But it's still like, chill out. You don't need to be such an ass about it. Sweater is flames, but I hate the styling. Distressed Raph is always a look. I think the re-edition is a good idea. People become way too snobbish about clothing. And it's true. Fire, but the distressed the bottom hem is kind of annoying me shape wise i kind of like that that's got to be a coat from hogwarts legit copped one of these yesterday definitely expensive birthday treat to myself but super hyped for it to arrive omi happy belated birthday mate the 2c slide jacket what, what are you talking about sick mate me um okay cool so and I keep it honest, I actually bought this piece. Uh, I have it right now. So we're gonna go through a live unboxing. But before I do that, and I wanted to keep it, I wanted to keep it very, uh, very hush hush. I didn't wanna speak about it. Not the unboxing, by the way, what I'm about to tell you. I didn't wanna speak about it. I didn't wanna promote it on my Instagram. Uh, a, it should also be said that this is a giveaway. This giveaway is not in partnership with Farfetch. This is something that I'm doing myself, just as a thank you for tuning in. It's my first ever live stream. I'm absolutely gassed. This was a lot of fun. And archive is still going to be valuable for collectors, but the designer will eat from the Redux and open up the style to more people. Car companies started doing a too fantastic marketing move, in my honest opinion. I agree, I agree. Like shoe brands do re-releases all the time and they might tweak a thing or two here and there with regards to different materials or whatever nobody really cries about that but as soon as clothing gets re-released people get up in arms about it riot what the what's riot yeah some of these terminologies i really don't understand like you know when the 
live stream died, everyone typed in F. What does that actually mean? This probably shows my age or the fact that I'm not on Twitch, but what does that actually mean? Like fail or some shit like that? Um, no. Whoa, time out, time out, time out, time out. You copped it for... No, I, I didn't cop this piece to give away. There's another piece that I wish to give away. And quick little backstory. So obviously everything from Drop One has sold out, at least the majority of them. The only thing still currently available on the website is one pair of cargoes in a size large and the purple zip up hoodie in a size small. Everything else is gone. One particular item that flew was the red cropped sweatshirts. It went within 15 minutes, there was 100 units, and all of it went within the first two minutes, actually. The only piece that kind of kept it until the 15 was one extra small, because, I don't know, I think extra small is more catered towards women, and it took a, a bit longer. But sold out within 15 minutes, absolutely gassed, ever so thankful. And there was a size large that I sent to my good friend that many of you guys may know under the name of who is Jacob, um, Jacob Wallace. Now, if you know him personally, or you can just get a feel for him on his videos, this guy, I love him. He's a mess at times. So I sent him one of the crop sweatshirts. Oh, F to pay respects. Okay. Is that what it's for? Okay, we got it now. We got it, we got it, we got it. Um, let me just make sure that we're still live. You know, none of that problem. Anyway, where was I going with my point? I love Jacob, he's a mess. Sent him one of the red crops for a shirt and a size large. The kid obviously did not pick it up. And the USPS kept it in their office for about two months. And it was sent back to me literally a couple of days ago. So we have a size large in the crop sweatshirts, brand new, hasn't been opened, was meant to be Jacob's, but it now can be one of yours. Um, I'm kind of thinking of how to, how to, um, how to do this giveaway. And we're, we're only keeping it within 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 this live chat. So uh, size large, if you want to, you can, you know, get, if you're a smaller size, you might be able to flip it. You might be able to exchange it with someone. How do we do this? So if you have any idea, then please let me know how I can, how we can choose a winner. Because I thought maybe I'll ask a random trivia question and the first one to answer it gets it. And then you're going to have to give me your, your contact information and all that shit so I can reach out. Okay, but how do we do this? Like someone said there's a website for it. Yeah, but how is a website going to help me pick out a comment? Auction it to pay for that bomber jacket. <laughs> no, we're not doing auctions. This is, this is literally as a thank you for tuning in, for watching the video. And for, you know, supporting being part of the family. I think you can always use the raffle app. High respect. I would love. Um, Sanj, buzz me this one. Giveaway idea. Do a Sanjeev trivia questions. Just randomly pick one or something. Nah, if you do a random pick, that shit's so tough. Like, I'd rather it goes to someone that actually... Give it to the guy with the most Russian name or something. <laughs> Says Vladimir Gnadko. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad... Do it completely random, not based on a question. Random generator. Raffle turns it into a luck situation as opposed to having to answer a question. That's true, but how does it... Oh, yeah, but again, I can't pick out... Hold on. Hold on a hot second. Let me just figure this out. Okay, let's go to the cam. Beautiful. Hey, you've got my face in full screen. Can I pick a viewer? No. Okay, I know what I'll do. Holy shit, this might be an awful idea. 
raffle is the fairest. Yeah, I'm trying to do a raffle, but I need to figure out how to pick someone because there isn't a platform, at least to my understanding, that will allow me to pick a winner from a live stream. I think there's no one that doesn't know fashion on the stream, Sanj. Winner is who can guess your shoes you have on at the moment. Not a bad shout. I don't have any shoes on at the moment. Um, okay, hold up. Let's think this through. What can we do? How do we go about it? I'm thinking I'm going to go to a, a page that picks a random number between one and a hundred, but then you guys will absolutely blow up the chat with numbers and there's no way I'll be able to pick out with just one winner. Google form, put the link to this live stream. All right, let's, let's find this out. Um, random name, no, random picker YouTube live stream. How's that gonna work? Let's go. some dumb idea <laughs> yeah that is a dumb idea yeah yep 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 and it means some warmth for this winter maybe have a rough website for those who want to sign up will sign up asking a question when works and some people are further in live stream youtube lags out and some people get behind like a few seconds that's also true ah uh, how are we gonna do this mate Okay, I know how we're gonna do this. Yes, okay, cool. Okay, 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 okay. All right, stop typing the numbers, time out. Time out, stop typing the numbers, that's not gonna happen. I've got a plan. What a banging plan, man's a genius out here. Okay, so the winner of the giveaway will get a size large, uh, reversible crop sweatshirt, brand new. This was supposed to go to Jacob. He didn't collect it. It's now going to go to one of you. The way that we're going to do it is that you're going to need to comment. You're going to need to come out of the live or actually you can just do it in another tab. Just make sure you comment on what video should we choose? Let me see what video absolutely tanked for some reason and just is slacking. Recent ones. I know which video. Let's go to. Okay, there was a video published on the 18th of December called It Was At This Moment That He Knew. Go to my channel, go to said video. First of all, it's a great video. You should definitely check it out. Secondly, if you haven't, or if you have already, anyway, whatever. Secondly, leave a comment and just say, I don't know, whatever, I want the red crop sweatshirt. But then please, 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 please make sure that you have your IG handle on the comment, okay? So leave any comment, but finish it off with your IG handle. In fact, actually, no, don't leave any comment. Fuck, put today's date, which is the 7th of February, 2020. So just put 07 slash 02. Uh, because we're English here, we're not American, we don't put the months before the dates, we put the dates before the month. Thank you very much. In fact, if, if I catch anyone putting the month before the date, immediate disqualification. It's date, month. So 07 slash 02 dash, or doesn't have to have a dash, comment, IG handle. And... And yeah, and then what I can do is then go onto a YouTube uh, comment generator in about 10 minutes. So then people will have more than enough time to leave their comments and pick a winner. Actually not, not in 10 minutes, at the end of the stream. How about that? And then I'll pick a winner, I'll announce it live on the stream and then we are good to go. I think that's the fairest way that I can think of without it being trivia based, 
with it still being somewhat luck generate luck um to do with luck uh what was i gonna say please 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 don't spam the comments because i'll be able to tell if you do so and yes so let me just re-repeat it re-repeat it let me just repeat myself size large giveaway sold out I can't even believe my luck when this actually came back here because I thought there's an, I thought Jacob's lost it basically. Um, it's returned, size large, brand new. It can be one of yours. You need to go to the video called It Was At This Moment That He Knew, which was published on the 18th of December. It's literally got me facing away from the camera in the thumbnail going like that. Just uh, go into the comment section, type in today's date, which is 07 slash 02 you know, 7th of February, dash, whatever your comment is, and then make sure, and please, this is important, that you leave your Instagram handle so I know um, how to contact you. Okay? And unfortunately, you need to have an Instagram in order to be eligible for this giveaway because I cannot give it, I cannot reach out to you in any other ways. So, there you go. Don't repeat the instructions after this. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done repeating the instructions. That is it. People won't even know about it. I am very thankful for you guys that tuned in, man. Thanks. It means a lot. Um, okay, so. How long have we been streaming now? 121. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm doing not too bad here. You know what I'm saying? Flash archive, eh? Not quite nine hours, but we've got the scissors. By the way, huge plug. Shout out to the wonderful people over at Farfetch for actually allowing me uh, the opportunity to go live and to do this. This was so much fun and definitely something that I wish to do more in the future, perhaps without any time constraint. Not that they put a time constraint, but I think I've put it on myself. I don't know for what reasons, but I just did. Um, so if you wish to use the code, like I mentioned, it's right here, actually. Boom. 11% uh, off. That is 11 Sanjeev FF for your Farfetch order. T's and C's can be found in the description box down below. This code is only valid for 24 hours. So please bear that in mind. 11% off. Only valid for 24 hours. And I know it's only 1% more than the usual 10%. You're welcome. Siri, please, uh... I know it's only 1% more than the usual 10%, but every little helps. Mm. All right, so we've got that out of the way. Let's do this unboxing, boy. A live unboxing, who could have thought? And I've already said this, like unboxing is a bit weird for me. I enjoy doing them and I completely understand the element of surprise and, and all that jazz. But I'm never, like the way that I describe it is, I'm not American, so I'm not like super expressive. There we go. Especially when it comes to like, you know, big, big reactions so let's just whip it out oh my god I'm doing this terribly I'm so sorry this is usually so smooth right, there we go oh. this came from Italy holy shit phone just died this came from Italia You've got invoice and all of that jazz. Spazio Pritelli. I don't know why I'm putting on the accent. It sounds stupid and it's most likely offensive to Italian. Let me chuck the box to that side. Now you're going to hear a lot of ruffle noise. Just caught a glimpse of it. It's so it's so good. Ooh wee. Ooh wee, babe. 
baby. God damn. So we've gone from seeing it on the screen to live. Raf Simmons Archive Redux in a size of one. This is the oversized destroyed v-neck sweater with F badge. Please keep this label attached for returns, obviously. And there we have it, folks. Wow. Okay, it's not as big as I thought it would be. I mean, it's huge, but... Wait, am I tripping? Yeah, I'm tripping. It's huge. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm glad I went with a size one. Um, so sick. The F. Look at that felt, mate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely colour. Lovely fit. I haven't tried it on, so I can't talk about the fit. See, your boy's capping already. I'm like, lovely fit. But I can tell it's going to fit amazing. This kind of gives me um, the other Raf Simmons knit piece that I have, which is from Calvin Klein 205, the West 39 NYC, the big white one, V neck with the three prints in black and white. This kind of gives me that vibe. It's It fits bigger than expected. That could fit Fat Albert, probably could. Um, I feel that, I feel that when I unbox stuff, I am that hype to be honest. I'm more gassed off to try and get on as opposed to unboxing. Yo, that's a fact pre the drop. <laughs> it was like, that's a fact pre. Um, yeah, facts. I only get hyped when I try it on and I'm super gassed. Although right now I probably won't do the live try on. I just know it fits like it's a size one. It fits absolutely huge. It's so beautiful, man. I'm so hyped to add this to the collection. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful and you know it's definitely a knit that is very special one to add to the collection did you see the well it wasn't remade into an archive piece but the navy version from that same collection Ooh -wee. oh so beautiful yeah this is bad boy all right let me just answer some questions now prior to um, prior to making a move. Sanj, what do you think of the 421 runways? What's your favorite show, by the way? God bless me on that raffle. I need that thing. First of all, what did I thought, what did I think of the four winter 21 collections? So good. Like after such a long time, I'm finally excited about what fashion designers have presented. I thought for the last two years, maybe, the collections overall were so just not inspiring. Um, and somehow, now that we're in the middle of a pandemic, everyone's designing their best pieces, at least that's how I feel. Um, we have a video going live again towards the end of the month where I'm doing my top five favourite looks from Fall Winter 21 and we've got guests jumping in as well. So I'm going to answer that question in said video, but thanks for asking. When is the next drop? This month. That's all I can say at the moment because I don't have finalized dates, but for now, this month. Any word on the final jewelry drop and restock of the old pieces? Yes, the we're nearly finished. We're just doing the fin we're just putting on the finishing touches to the final piece. This will be a trilogy. Um, in fact, I'm able to disclose this information on this live stream. I think. Um, what's the game with that? Da -da 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 -da. Putting the finishing touches. It will be a pendant, which I'm so gassed for you guys to take a look at because I think it's absolutely fire. And we are also going to be doing a restock of the first piece and the second piece. As usual, extremely, insanely limited numbers. Just because I don't want to take away from the fact that, you know, people have paid. People have been part of the movement from the very beginning. I don't know if it makes it feel less special to them if I was to re-release it. So I'm gonna keep it extremely limited. And unfortunately the price of silver has gone up, which I'm sure you guys are well aware of, silver, gold. So that will be reflected in the price. So there is one tiny bonus for the people that bought it first. Sanj, what made you make the move from medicine to fashion coming from a current medic student? I just didn't enjoy it, man. Like I definitely did it from a very Asian, perspective of you know following your parents' dream like they fled their country due to a war-torn situation and I'm not blaming them by the way but they do that very 
common thing, which is take their dreams and put it onto their child, which is, you know, to some blasphemous, to others completely understandable. And um, I just didn't enjoy it. So although I did very well in school and got into the unis that I wanted to, I kind of wanted to take a step back and really figure out if this is what I wanted to do. And I've told the story many a times. I took a gap year. My mum was like, okay, you have one year to make a decision. If uh, you make a decision and you go through with it, fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna support you all the way through. Um, if however, in a year you're still confused or lost, you're going to uni and you're studying medicine. So, bro, you gotta do a raffle on your cargoes. That would get so much attention and reach here and on IG. The whole point was so that I don't get reach here or on IG. I wanted to keep it as low key as possible. If I wanted to, I could have done I could have made a big deal out of the crop sweatshirt. Um, if I may say so myself, I think it was like the most hyped piece out of the first drop. So this is just a token of my appreciation to the people that have tuned in. And um, yeah, it was actually announced mid live stream. So boom. Um, Sanj, what is your best experience during your studies at Central St. Martins? It's the wealth of knowledge that that place provides, and I'm sure Ayo, if you're still in the in the chat, you would you can back me up on this. The library is insane. Like not only that, but the people you come across are insane. Um, for the most part, the people are absolutely incredible. The tutors are amazing. Like I love my experience there. It was so good. It was so much fun, and um, definitely, definitely recommend it. Now, personally, got to a stage where after two years of it for me it felt very for me it felt very repetitive so that's when i decided to take myself out of it and there is a certain aura which to be fair is to be expected when you go to such a prestigious school but there is an aura of arrogance which i just did not fuck with and sometimes tutors were you know just fucking cocky assholes and i was just like yo i don't need that not even towards me just towards others and i was like yeah who do you think you are um, wasn't the sort of energy that I needed anyway. Sanj, will you ever come to this Singapore? Yes, I would love to. I would love to go to anywhere that I can uh, travel once traveling is properly allowed. Sanj, have you ever gone back to your motherland, parents, home country, and what was your experience like? Yes, I've been to Sri Lanka. I've only been to Sri Lanka twice. Once when I was 12 and once more recently for my uncle's wedding. And both times have been absolutely incredible. Obviously, the experience was also very much different um, because I went as a baby, basically, and then as a fully grown man. Uh, man, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. It was, it's beautiful. I'm so gutted. I only spent about, how long did I spend? Seven days in Sri Lanka, which is so not enough. Like, I should do what my mum does, and she goes on a yearly basis, and she goes there for like two months which is all right for some but um yeah unfortunately i don't know if i would be able to go there for two months anyway just because of work and, and other commitments that i may have but I, if i was to go again it's definitely for a lot longer than seven days um will you ever come to do, 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 do sand wanted to know whether you speak single singalese or tamil uh, i speak tamil i don't speak singalese Dup, 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 dup. Would you rather play every instrument or speak every language? I would rather speak every language. I'm happy with the amount of instruments that I can play with, but to be able to speak every language and understand it and read, write it, boy, that. Okay, let me quickly see how um, the comments are looking like I said if there's spams and I'll be able to tell I'm gonna tell y'all to chill out like this LL guy you've you've, you've definitely spammed so if you're winning this I'm unfortunately gonna have to take your official Kumpo I'm so sorry bro it's just Doing it once or twice, I completely understand, but bro, you've like done it a hundred times. And I thought it was an over exaggeration. It's not. Um, 
Ah, I feel so mean. But I did say, please do not spam, just so that everyone has a fair chance. Um, some people have sent the same questions like four times. Okay, what's the question? Are there any fashion labels that you think overprice their clothing? Oh, absolutely. In fact, very interestingly enough, uh, my next video is going to be a winter sales pickups and I talk about this very this very topic because some people definitely overprice their clothes. Definitely, definitely. Um, All right, I think Liverpool have more of a chance of winning that jumper. Hey, Liverpool got spanked today. What? That's such an unfortunate thing. Yo, Sanj, what do I cop? I already have a light blue flared jeans. Do I buy the black flared jeans or do I buy black flared trousers? I know someone that's releasing black flared jeans, so you should probably cop those when they're being released. A replica's justified if labels poorly construct their goods and continue to overprice them Ooh, that's an interesting question i don't know if replicas can be uh, i tend to have a very sort of like i don't really care what you do with your money so if you want to cop a replica by all means my only issue which i'm sure many people can agree is if you're then going down the scamming route of buying a replica in the hopes of selling it as an authentic that I'm good on skip on that but if you're buying a replica just to wear the piece for yourself and um, as as a beta or just because you find the resale price of an item to be unfathomable then so be it do your thing replicas today's have gotten to a stage where they're insanely good like you'd really 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 have to pick at it to be able to notice a replica so I'm not, again, I'm not advocating for it, um, especially if a brand is replicating a smaller brand, which is a shame, but um, it is what it is. It's part of the game. You just got to keep it moving at that point. What else do we have? Would love to see you with Magnus and PAQ boys working together on a YouTube project. That would be very cool. That would be very cool. Um... Are you going to cop anything from the Prada show by Raph? Best believe that. I mean, it's going to be very spenny, but holy shit, some of the pieces were absolutely beautiful. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's... Does it matter if my insta is private? No, it doesn't, because I should still be able to message you. Uh, okay, cool. I think we've waited long enough now. Let me put this jumper to the side. Raph Simmons. Beautiful, beautiful jumper. By the way, all the pieces that I mentioned today, be it this guy or be it... Uh, wait, sorry. Why am, I trying to, why am I struggling to find a place? Two things. Firstly, you're going to see that piece of style, so you'll see how that fits on body in a separate video. Secondly, all the pieces that I've mentioned today will be found in the description box down below, so you can check them out and you'll be able to utilize said code right here that will entitle you to 11% off from Farfetch for the following 24 hours. Thirdly, let's pick a winner, all right? Um, so let me go onto the website. No, first of all, let me, I'm hyped, I'm gassed. Now I did say don't spam, so for the people, and I will be checking this by the way, um, get that link, boom, YouTube comment picker, the video URL is right here, filter duplicate users, include replies to comments, 
Okay, so get the YouTube comments. We've got a total of 340 unique comments. In fact, I should probably switch it. Wait, how am I going to do this? One second, boys. One second. Can I do that and then bring this over to this? Wait, ah, where are you going? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. By the way, I'm not, I haven't, I'll do the choosing live so that everybody can see that it's all fair and square. Okay, this goes there. Boom, skis. Okay, let me just preface by saying this. I know that some people are going to be disappointed. Unfortunately, there isn't much I can do about it. Um, 300 and your chances are basically one of 300. Good odds, to be fair. They're not too bad at all. For a free piece? Why not? So, let's go there. Boom. Okay, so I've entered the YouTube URL. I've ticked the filter for duplicate users, duplicate users, because I think initially we have well over 480 comments, but now we've narrowed it down to 340. And I've also included replies to comments if someone by mistake replied to a comment when they've put their content up. Uh, I've got the YouTube comments to three, 343. So, okay, in the last 10 seconds, three more comments have been added. And Okay, start the raffle and pick a random winner. Let's go. Mad Storm Whack One. Hardest. Okay, so this was obviously a comment that was left on um, when the video went live. So he wasn't part of the live stream, although I'm really appreciative of it because you were one of the few viewers that actually watched said video, which tanked so much. I don't know why. So we're going to pick another winner because. This wasn't a comment left today. Oh, was it? I mean, it says it's this. No, you didn't follow the rules, so no. Sorry, dude. Pick another winner. Christopher Murphy. Chris Murphy dot three. You've won, mate. You've won. Are you still in the chat? If you're in the chat, please let me know. Because it'd be nice to see if you've won. Christopher Murphy! Should we go on his uh, Instagram? Let's go on his Instagram. Let's have a look at his Instagram. Chris Murphy dot three. Imagine he doesn't follow me. <laughs> he doesn't even follow me on Instagram. Boys, 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 boys. How do we feel about that? Chris Murphy, private profile, doesn't follow me. My ego has taken a blow here. Um, wow. How do we how do we feel about that? How do we feel about that? He's not here, clearly. Um that's a rip. Big facts. Repick, 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 redo. Nah. I mean, that's <laughs> that's me being that's me being salty as fuck. I did not specify that you have to follow me on Instagram. So you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna just take this L. Uh, I'm gonna give this jumper to someone that doesn't follow me on Instagram. You motherfucker! How dare you? Um. That's an alternate account. Ooh, good point. He's got to go, blood. 
disqualified. <laughs> we go again. <laughs> keep it moving, re-roll because he's not hit. Now, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, he's, he's the winner, right? Stop beefing him. <laughs> that wasn't, I didn't specify the fact that you have to follow me on Instagram, basically, which I should have done. Um, which would have been a good way to pick out someone. But, on that note, On that note, on that note, on that note, we're going to keep it moving. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone that uh, managed to make it, that tuned into the stream. We picked out, so just to kind of give you guys a rundown, obviously this was the piece that I, that is here, but can also be found here. We love to see it. Lovely jubbly. Then... We're gonna get the Nanushka hooded bomber jacket just because the price point is very good and it kind of gives me a different talking point in the styling video because I don't want every piece to be, as I've told you, super expensive. I will, however, wait to see if they're gonna upload any more colors because I've seen it in green, I've seen it in tan, and so I'm gonna wait and see which color I can grab it in. Then, this is also a definite, the Maison Margiela padded shell gilet. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Yes, it's a heavy price tag, but I think it's fair to say that most people in the chat agreed. And, uh... Wait, someone said a very good point, actually. Check if he's subbed. I don't actually know if you're able to see who's a subscriber and who's not, because sometimes you can change your, um... What's it called? You basically have to have it displayed in your settings and some people don't change it, so. We don't know that. And then, last but certainly not the least, I've got to make a decision on whether or not I'm going to pick the oversized padded bomber jacket in the mustard color, which is someone, what is someone used, beautiful piece, or the cropped Bottega padded bomber jacket in the yellow color. Now, I'm swaying towards the mustard because not only is it cheaper, it's also in my size. The The padded bomber jacket in the yellow is two sizes too big and it's very, very out there. Like, I don't know how much of a daily wear I'm going to get out of it. So, I'm still, I'm still thinking about it. And going back, to, yo, some of you guys are really salty. Like you, you really, really wanna wanna disqualify this guy. Yes, the date was left in the right order. So he did put zero seven slash zero two at Chris Murphy. So yeah, man, it is what it is. You lot took L's. He took a W. But I'm so thankful for all of you guys. And I'm super thankful to the wonderful people over at Farfetch for allowing this stream to happen and providing us with some good laughs, uh, providing us with a discount code and starting this new thing, which I might be doing on a more regular occurrence for such basis. Because this was a lot of fun. I wish there was a better way that um, you can, you know, if I had like a monitor somewhere where I'm able to not only read the comments but also it would be cool to have a different system where I'm able to pick out people to jump on the live with me so we can have a nice little discussion and then you know chat shit for about five ten minutes and I'm like all right cool do one next you know that'll be a lot of fun so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you to everyone on no year on the comment starred by Nate. Yes, to be fair, I did say just the date and the month. I didn't say the year. Nate, don't be salty. You're good. Oh, he's decided to show up, Christopher Murphy. Yeah, it's all right saying thank you. How about you follow me on Instagram, mate? How about that? Eh? That's, that's kind of one of the, okay, someone said, if he wears chunky sneaks with sneaker denim, skinny denim, sneaky denim, skinny denim, he's a lost cause. That's kind of what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to check out the profile. Obviously, it's private. But I kind of wanted to check out the profile. And I'd be like, is this a worthy candidate, you know? Are the pics banging? 
but it is what it is. Anyway, congratulations, Chris. You've uh, you've won the cropped sweatshirt. You smashed it. Well done. What else was there to say for me? That's it. Happy Valentine. Wait, it's not Valentine's Day yet, is it? Nah. What day is it today? Seventh. Mm, we just spoke about that. Um, Sand with the greatest relationship advice. Yo, we should. We should. There's going to be a few other videos with regards to that. That is coming. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Is this live going to end up as a vid? Stevens asks. Yes, it is. My good friend, where the fuck were you on this live? Told you to tune in. You didn't. Next time, do a live and check out everyone's IG. Yo, that would be so much fun. That would be so much. There's so much room for content on live stream. Should we question though should i keep it on twitch i mean should i keep it on youtube or should i move to twitch how do we feel about that oh any super bowl that's true who have you got your money yeah, actually whatever um i i i keep sort of pushing it pushing delaying my outro but yeah thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in i'm so appreciative um like i said this is going to be a video on its own so you can watch the whole live although it's i think we went live for about hold up boom no not working anymore there we go we went live for nearly two two hours so it will end up being a video that you can tune in and watch this was so much fun i'm so thankful for you guys thank you thank you thank you um what else was there for me to say there's a bunch of videos coming up. My next one is going to be a winter sale pickups. The following one will be dropped to announcement, which by the way, this is one of the pieces that is being dropped. Um, also, some people were confused. It's an announcement video. It's not the drop itself. Um, in the announcement video, I'll be able to talk about the dates and, and all that other jazz. Um, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, so the pieces that I've shown and spoken about today that we've decided, will hopefully make an appearance in a video called Waster Style Puffer Jackets, which should go live at some point this month as well. With that being said, thank you so much. I love you guys. This was, this was a lot of fun. No wonder Ayo, the, no wonder Ayo do these, do these, does these. Basically, no wonder he goes lunch. Um, because it's a lot of fun and to be able to interact with you guys it's very very cool so have a beautiful day take care